Hey guys, Michael here, MAD Lawn and Garden. I um, just wanted to talk to you guys for a minute about, um, sorry, I'll post the camera there. Had a look. Around the corner. I um, just want to talk to a moment on my way to my next property about the importance of uh, growing your lawn care business. And this is coming from someone who's still in the beginning phases of uh, structuring and, you know, still trying to attain all the, uh, the equipment that I need for the best job that I can do. Um, um, but uh, the point is, when you get to a certain point, it's, because when you're first starting out, you just want, you just want, you're like, I just need this many yards, I just need this many yards, I need more yards. And you get those yards, you're like, I need this many more yards now, I need to do this. So, it's going to be like a never ending thing where at a certain point you're just like, I need, I need five more yards. I need 10 more yards. It becomes a, a point where do you ever have enough? The point is, I think at a certain point is to grow into what you have and then, you know, kind of take accountability of everything and then look at what you have because here, here's another thing. Oh, it's beautiful castle or something off there to the here's the thing let's say you have 30 steady lawn accounts if you're a solo person that's a lot of that's a lot of work in itself um, with weather crazy weather can throw that off um, here's the point that's 30 accounts that's 30 properties that you're visiting most likely weekly some of you probably do by week because most of mine are 90 95 percent weekly so what I'm getting at is you're visiting these properties. At least a handful of those properties probably have homeowners or you know renters, whatever, that want additional services. Maybe they haven't asked you, maybe they don't know. Um, and here's the thing is you, as a lawn care professional, are probably the only person who's around your customer's house as often as they are, or not quite as often, but you, you are more familiar with their home's exterior and their property than anyone else. Um, and I don't even think a lot of times they realize how familiar you, familiar you are just by the nature of the job. Like you just see everything. Like, so you start seeing all oh, that needs painted, that soffit needs fixed, that gutter. So here's things like that you can do as you can look at these things and you can offer your services if you are capable and able to take care of those things and or you can recommend those services to someone you know and trust and or just let them know that something needs done and they can find their own person to do the job. <laughs> Up to you. But what I'm getting at again is that you're there all the time, you're seeing it, and there's a lot of extra stuff that you can do to capitalize on your time and make more money and help grow your business and be successful ultimately. And just basic stuff is, um, basics would be like doing shrubs, bushes, mulch, that kind of stuff. So anyway, that's the whole point is that there's a whole lot of extra stuff that you could be leaving and that either the customer either does, maybe they don't know that you do that. Um, they don't know it needs done. There's a whole lot of factors at play. But my point is bring it up. For example, today, um, I have a customer who I have trimmed their hedges for, uh, pick them up as a regular lawn client, I think it was three years ago. Yes. And three years ago, I trimmed their hedges. And then the next year I trimmed their hedges. And this year, um, and this got a little bit out of hand, a little busy. And I, when I did ask them about trimming them, they said that somebody else was going to be taking care of them, which I thought was strange since I'm there all the time. and. Um, I uh, had taken care of them last two years so I let it go and that's been a few months now and they're just growing and growing and so finally I reached out and I said hey I said 
I just I gave her a price. I said, hey, here's this for trimming the bushes and weeding. And then I said, and if you would like, I can, starting next spring, do periodic weeding and trimming. That way, everything always looks the way it's supposed to. She said, that sounds great. See, she didn't know that that was a possibility, I don't think. So, what I've done there, and, and she had you know, told me she was allergic to something out there as well. So, what I've done there is I've eliminated a problem of her and anxiety of hers, and she's more than willing to pay for my services because that saves her a lot of time and a lot of hassle. Uh, another case, just earlier today, I pulled up to do the, the first property, and the lady was out there hand trimming some overgrown, um, an overgrown burning bush from the neighbors coming over the fence. And uh, I told her, I said, you can, you can continue to do that if you'd like. It's, you know, and she was asking if she was able, if she was allowed, because, um, it's, you know, I said, yes, it's hanging over your property. And I said, you can trim it. I said, if you'd like, I can do it for you. And it was one of those things where it was just, it was driving her nuts. It was making her anxious and she just needed something to do she didn't know. So I told her, I said, I'll take care of it. And there was a piece of fence that was broken. And I was like, take care of all of this. And it's like, when I told her that I would take care of that, the trim the azaleas and take care of the fence, it was like, she just felt better. Plus I told her that, you know, we already had scheduled a uh, lawn renovation as well. So, but like I said, people just need to know that you're going to be there to do the job you said you were going to do. And then also just be vigilant for those other things that you can help them with. And maybe they don't want it done, but at least you know that you made the effort to point out the issue. So I hope this all makes sense to you. I got to hit this one. Um, it's a little overgrown. It's, supposed, it's my only bi-weekly. And uh, I skipped, I missed last week because of the baby and the complications with the uh, delivery. So anyway, I'm going to hit this and uh, we'll uh, see you next time.